please begin design work on the UGP 40 TC. We're, we actually made these? They're not vaporware? I guess they're here. Hey, this is Jordan from Rapido Train Zinc, and that's right, our HO Scale D10 steam locomotives, CPR steam locomotives that is, uh, they are here. They finally arrived and are shipping out right now. These are kind of like the GP9 of CP's steam era, uh, first delivered around 1908 through 1913. They were in service until 1961 in regular CP service, and afterwards many of them went on for, uh, for extended careers in steam uh, excursion service, both in Canada and the USA. So let's unbox our HO scale D10. I've already moved the outer sleeve. Let's lift off the box top here with the line work for the D10 on the outside. Inside you've got your manual, all of the uh, regular comedic quips and whatnot you'd expect in a Rapido manual. Put that aside, we've got all kinds of stickers. You know, if you've bought a CPR steam locomotive, you just need to have a Rio Grande sticker for your layout as well. Put those aside. Lift off the uh, top foam, and there you go. Got the locomotive in two pieces. You've got the locomotive in the, in the tender. Very well packed. Just slide that out there. Lift it out. There we go. Very nice. And this is also a, uh, a metal tender uh, body there, body shell. The boiler on the D10 is also cast metal for extra weight. So this is again, this is D10 number 1057. This particular locomotive has had a very long and prolific career, uh, continuing in excursion service through the 50s and 60s, and uh, to this day is on the roster of the South Simcoe Railroad in Tottenham, Ontario. Uh, we actually have two versions of this unit. This is the uh, in-service version, and we also have an exclusive for the Credit Valley Railway Company in Streetsville, Ontario, the Credit Valley 1057, as it was lettered in uh, excursion service back in the day. Now, one thing to note with your D10, you don't want to do this on live rail because it might cause some issues. Uh, you don't want that, so you put it together first, and then you can put it on your track. So here she is in action, featuring such sounds as her awesome steam horn and e-bell and that chugga chugga sound, just like the prototype. As you can tell, I don't know much about steam because it's not Southern Pacific or Amtrak or Penn Central in 1976. I won't be able to tell you what type of valve gear they have, but Bill will know. Please click the link above to see his video rundown of these workhorse steam locomotives. Wait, what are those things? These are our all new HO scale. Procore 3,000 cubic foot sodium chlorate cylindrical covers hoppers, and they are also shipping right now, along with the D10s. So I don't know much about these prototypes, so let's go ask Dan Darnell, the project manager. Go away. So sodium chlorate is a mainstay in the paper industry, and steel cars and sodium chlorate are a bit corrosive when you put the two together, so the aluminum covered hoppers were the solution. Uh, there have been a number of different sodium chlorate hoppers in the past. There was an earlier 2900 cubic foot uh, version that was previously produced in the 80s and 90s. And this particular version is the uh, kind of late 90s, 98, 99, 2000 production run in the 3000 cubic foot uh, variation. Uh, these cars are still on the rails today and uh, can be seen all over North America. So let's do a quick unboxing. So I've already unboxed one of the cars. Let's unbox the uh, Procore Wordmark car here. So these cars were delivered in two production runs in 1998 and 1999. The 1998 order, which I'm unboxing right now, includes the handrails mounted on the car side going up to the roof. 
in the, for the roof walks. These also had the full Procore Wordmark logo on the side of the cars. You can see we've got lots of very, very nice detail. We've got the stainless steel walkway on the top, which is dead straight. Full M-Cage details, etched metal coupler walkway platform, separately applied uh, uh, brake wheel, under full underbody detail here. Uh, the very unique outlet gates for the uh, sodium chlorate stuff. Uh, one unique bit that we've done on these cars is the snubber trucks, which I don't believe have ever done in, uh, in plastic in HO scale before. Very neat detail. So again, this was the earlier 1998 production run. We have the 1999 production run, which was a very similar car but lacked the handrails uh, mounted to the car sides, and these also didn't have the Wordmark logo. Now, in addition to these versions, we've also produced painted, unlettered versions of both cars. So you can do up, uh, if you want to do up your own paint scheme or Railroad of Lies, they are available as well. So there you go. There's two fantastic all-new HO scale models, which are shipping right now, which I can't use on my hypothetical future HO scale model railroad based in 1970 Southern California. My wallet is safe, but yours might not be, so make sure to order through your dealer or rapidotrains.com while supplies last. We'll see you in the next video. I know. You're going to text!